I know, it's hard to believe that this little guy right here just did all of that. So let's be honest with each other. I can sit here for the next so minutes and I can tell you guys all the reasons why you need to buy a drone and why they're amazing and why the footage is great and why it's this and why it's that, but that wouldn't be doing you guys any favor. Too many people in the market right now can give you that reason. If you need that, you probably click out of this video and look look at that. There's a million one out there. I'm going to do something different today and I'm going to tell you guys the reasons why you might not want to invest in buying a drone because that's the word investment because it is a very very big tool and it's not just when you purchase the drone so first let's talk about price so this guy right here i actually bought second hand but i had a really great deal so this is the dji maverick air one right now in the market there's its predecessor the two i decided to track back and you know find a cheaper deal because you know like i always say guys find the cheaper deal so this right here with the entire package that I got is actually worth about $1,300. Crazy, right? Wait, wait, I know, before you leave, I got it for 600. It's a great deal, yeah, exactly. After searching, I found a really reliable source. After discussing, I met up with him, checked it. I checked the gimbal, I checked, you know, the entire drone itself. And after feeling really comfortable with the, with the individual, I decided to purchase it off of him. And honestly, I don't regret it at all. But I wasn't informed of everything that comes with flying a drone because there are things that come with it. So in particular for the Maverick Air, this is a drone that weighs over 250 grams. So the thing about drones here in Canada is that there are actually specific rules you must follow before you can actually have fun with your drone. Exactly, it's not as easy as just buying it and going outside, but it can be. So basically, if you decide to buy a drone that's under 250 grams, you actually don't need to do any certificates or any registration. You can literally go outside and fly your drones with conditions, but the conditions are a lot freer than if you're going with drones that are over 250 grams. For example, the Maverick Air. So the first thing I had to do after I bought it is this right here. This code right here is my registration number. So I had to go on the Transport Canada website and I first thing the first thing I had to do was basically register the drone to let them know that I do have it. In case it gets lost, they can return it to me so they can actually track and monitor. Like I said, there's additional costs. It's like when you're reading the contract and you're like, side effects may include nausea, vomiting, water weight, read the fine print. So to register this with Transport Canada is five bucks. That's not bad, it's not bad, it's not good, it's easy. It's really simple, you just go, you put your basic information in there, your address, your name, your postal code, your location, the type of drone you have, it's that simple, you get a code and you actually have to label your drone with that code so you don't get fined. We'll be talking about the fines in a second. After I registered it with Trans Canada, I realized that I actually needed a drone certificate or correction a pilot certificate that's right you need to be a certified pilot before you can fly your drone here in Canada if it is over 250 grams madness exactly so what does it look like to be a certified pilot to be certified you actually have to pay a simple fee first which is a $10 fee to take the test that you will most likely fail. That's right. And then after you fail, you have to wait 24 hours before you can take it again and then pay them another $10. Basically, it's just a scheme for the government to make money out of your joy and excitement, which they will, they will do that. Luckily for me, I actually passed the test on the first go. I know, I'm a genius. Just kidding, I'm just lucky. I Googled a lot of the answers. I did a little bit of studying previously and I actually did well. I got like a 74%, which is not bad actually, because the next topic is what is on that quiz. You're gonna, you're gonna lose your mind. So let me pull it up, one sec. So to summarize, quickly some of the things that you need to know so first of all you need to know what controlled airspace is and uncontrolled airspace is that's that's you can google that that's that's nothing next thing you need to know for some weird reasons you need to know how to read aeronautic maps why is that because 
basically to know where a controlled airspace is and where a, con a non-controlled airspace is you need to be able to read an aeronautic map you can find apps to help you with this by the way that'll help next thing you need to know is you need to know basic aviation because apparently drones and jets are the same thing after that you need to know basic flight theory so basically this test you would you would think it'd be easy because it actually is considered a basic license but it's anything but basic and i promise you you are going to struggle it's not a test you can just kind of wing it by yourself use the options you have read before you take it and you should be okay keyword okay not amazing okay you should be okay and then after you get that certificate for the next two years you can fly basic non-commercial to fly commercial you would need to upgrade to an advanced pilot's license which is additional costs that they're going to ask you for which is really hard so there you go guys those are just some things that you need to do before you can fly your drone so on top of that basically you you can't fly in areas you can't fly specific heights you can't fly in in private properties you can't do a lot of things you basically can't do a lot of things you have to be really smart with what you do because if you don't follow these rules here's here's the big one instant one thousand dollar fine boom if you want to get a drone after this video I mean, big shout out to you. It's on. It's honestly amazing. The footage is great, as you saw. It's, it's, it's fun. It's a giant adult toy. It's amazing, and everybody's talked around me like, "Wow, that's so great!" Well, can I touch it? I wow. It's cool. I'm gonna lie, but it is way, way harder than you think to do. But it is more advantageous to do it the proper way because at the end of the day, if you do the test and you get it right and then you register, that's only $15 in retrospect to getting a 1,000 instant fine from police officers, from um, bylaw officers, and like anybody can call the cops on you, like anybody. So don't take the risk. If you, if you are choosing to still go down this route, you know the proper thing to do for all the laws. Let's get back to the actual drone talk. This little guy right here is powered by these little batteries. The package that I got actually comes with four of these and each one lasts about 28 minutes, leaving me with almost two hours worth of flight time in total for this, which is actually really, really, really helpful and it's it's really great. This thing right here shoots at 4K. That's crazy. The quality that it captures is actually phenomenal and I generally could not be happier with the outcome, especially after I first flew it and I just took it in. Now, to admit that, before I actually got the drone um, and I was actually going to shoot this video, I actually originally planned to shoot at a different time, as you guys noticed, but I realized that I forgot my connector cable at home, so I had to drive 10 minutes to go back and then come back to the location that I was at, and then I flew for about like half an hour to like 40 minutes, only to realize that the SD card that I placed in the drone actually wasn't working, so I had to go back to the location the whole different day, which is why some of the stuff might look different. I'm sorry, blame it on this. Or oh, actually blame it on the SD card, this is this is great. Oh, it actually is advertised to be able to go up to, basically I, I'm rounding it up, it's like nine point something, but it's, I'm gonna say it's 10 kilometers away. I don't know if that's true because I, I, I get a lot of latencies when I go too, too, too far, but I, I can't go really far with it. And it's, you guys, as you guys saw in the footage, I was probably on shore and I was so far in the water. It was, it was amazing. So the next thing is speed. So this guy right here has two modes. It has a standard mode and it has a sport mode. So the standard mode actually goes up to 28 kilometers per hour, which is quick, which is quick in, in just this little guy. Now, take in this. The sport mode goes up to 68 kilometers per hour. It zips so fast, it's uncomfortable, and like, you can tell it, because when you're like flying and it's just going crazy, when you want it to stop, it literally has to like tilt itself back and like almost like yank itself back just to stop. Altogether, I'm really happy with the purchase. Those things that I told you might deter you from buying the drone, but if it did not 
honestly guys like it's it's phenomenal i would highly recommend it and i would recommend you not to buy the newest models but to try and find old models that people might be selling to get new models because these old models are just as as effective as the newer models they just add a little bit of you know extra pizzazz in the new ones now but like doesn't make this any less like any less it doesn't make it obsolete it's still phenomenal it gets your work done and and it's there guys we just have to look for it but yeah guys i mean i have some really cool projects coming along i promise you i'm actually working on some stuff right now with some guys i'm looking to shoot an action scene uh with we're working on choreography right now and everything like that i'm just trying to be more or be yeah, be more film. I want to be more film. I want to do more film. I want to be cinematic. I want to try different things. I want to get way out of my comfort zone. I want to drown. I want to be out of here, you know? That's dark, but you know what I mean. So yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, like I said before, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Like it. I hope you guys enjoy the, uh, the information. I'm happy if you guys throw a comment and tell me that you do. That'd be awesome. Follow me on Instagram at Hermes Vlogs. Simple, Hermes Vlogs. You'll find me there. I post content on there as well that you guys might not see on YouTube and it gives you guys the opportunity to get a little bit closer with me because you can always DM me. You can see some of my work that, you know, is more photo based. Uh, just, I try different things. But yeah, guys, and that's the end of the video. I know you guys probably want to hear this one because I haven't said it in a little bit, but don't forget, guys. Adventure more, worry less. Life is way too short. All right, guys. Peace.